guys, so I got some birds up here in the field that are strutting. I got some of the hens, and uh, I'm just gonna try and get as close to them I can along the creek here, and set up and try and call them in, just being real quiet. And uh, if there's multiple gobblers, one of them should should come in and see if there's some free hens that aren't with the uh, dominant bird. And who knows, maybe you can call those hens and the dominant bird over. So like a shotgun season today here in Kansas. Today's the first day of that. So hopefully I can fill one of my two tags and. Uh, been in the call shop all day got out it's almost six o'clock but take what you can get and uh, i got some other tags and a bunch of calls to build um, other tags i got one in colorado and uh hoping to go up to nebraska and uh really want to get back to maryland's eastern shore and hunt some turkeys back there but that might be the last thing on my list this year so stay tuned got these birds down the creek and uh wind blowing right at them luckily they're not white tails well, that is inevitably kind of dumb, but they were just going the other way anyway towards the neighbors, so... And I tried to push it as close as I could get, but by the time I got here, they were going over the fence. So, back to the drawing board, looking for turkeys. Doesn't seem to be quite the number of birds here in western Kansas that was last year. That's not an excuse, I'm just saying that. Got a couple real cold days this winter, and uh, I haven't seen any jakes to speak of. So I think it really took a toll on all those younger birds um, without the body mass to make it through that real tough cold snap. Should have been here 45 minutes ago. Sitting right over there and I'd have popped me a big old gobbler. Keep on looking.
so I just ranged that and it was 48 yards I thought it was like 40 but and I totally missed that turkey at least it didn't cost me you know 20 some dollars per arrow on that one but good at calling birds in not so good at shooting them on film so far this year uh, I've blown it twice now and uh, whatever here's what it is like I make turkey calls I don't claim to be a professional turkey hunter and quite the opposite I'm sometimes a decent turkey hunter most of the time I seem to mess it up I guess like everybody else so I just want to go over yesterday's hunt a little bit um, what I did right what I did wrong um, I saw those birds moving probably towards where they were going to roost and uh, they were moving the opposite way I really needed them to go so at the beginning of it almost just gave up went back to the truck and tried to find some other ones but being it was so late in the day I just figured to see what happens I got nothing to lose here and uh, so I just started calling about as loud as I could and the, be trying to be the most obnoxious hen I could be with that turkey reel call um, I think it has really good volume and whatever it's got a real realistic tone to it and it sounds a little bit different kind of sounds like a, a, a box call and a mouth call uh, made a baby and the baby is the turkey reel so that's my analogy of what it sounds like but ever since day one even when i was putting nitrile on those things didn't quite have that real raspy sound it just has seemed to pull in birds from a long way just like our elk calls um the original ones did so we just stuck with that name the turkey reel because originally it was an elk reel and then we came into a turkey reel so anyway yesterday's hunt uh didn't really go the way i wanted to at the end and uh, i definitely could have like taken a few more seconds to try and shoot that bird and maybe get a little bit better rest I'd been planning on using that log as my rest and those birds were starting to skirt and there was a road that they went into that field and instead of coming straight at straight into the brush and into the into the uh, fallow wheat field that I was sitting on which is like a small little maybe two or three acre piece back there um, they went around and took the road around from the main field that goes back out to the other road and so that put them about 30 40 yards i mean those those hens are about 30 yards to my right when they finally busted me so yeah i'm not sure if i had maybe just not moved so much probably would have gone a different way and uh, definitely twisting the mount on the gopro that was game over so I had to rush my shot maybe should have just let him go anyways missed uh, i looked for that bird for a while um, pretty sure I seen the one gobbler run off to the east and the other gobbler ran off to the west and I didn't find any blood or any feathers or anything so pretty sure that was a clean miss and uh, hopefully I can get the next one a little bit closer or just be able to take my time on it a little bit more so um, things I did right I think I set up to where I could have been birds behind me where they got where they couldn't see so that was a good spot where I was sitting right on the creek and then behind me I had a, I had another fallow wheat field that they've gone around the outside of it and dissed it up and then sprayed for weeds. So they, the birds have been wanting to get in those tilled pieces around those little wheat fields. That's what I've been noticing lately. I've been keep seeing birds over there. So I set up with the creek running north to south on a log on the side of the creek so that perhaps I could be birds behind me so the birds wouldn't hang up out there and just look and when those birds did come in they did look and then they decided to skirt and go and try and get into that other field behind me so should have set up to my right maybe 20 yards um whatever and then over calling was over calling like crazy but the whole point of that was just to try and sound as obnoxious as I could to to draw those hens in so the tactic worked i mean the birds were fading away when i got there and probably three or four hundred yards away and i pulled them all the way back and uh ended up missing that bird but that was a good example of you know uh, when a gobbler's got hens just trying to antagonize his hens and uh, it seemed to work, to work out up until the end when i blew it so hope you guys like this hunt and uh anyways Hope we'll make a bunch more of these this year. Thanks, guys.